Welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. This is uh, Muhammad Idris. Please subscribe and share. We have a Chevy Equinox 2011. We we change the body control module with use one. After we program it, in a couple of days, the light come back again and security is stuck. It look like uh, the code is not a key problem. The code was environmental, environment, security environment, different code. So what I did is, I have to come and reprogram everything, all the security. And that's where right now we are. Those cars are very funny. They turn the ignition on. So using a used part in this car, it may lock the car. Rem Last time I remember we changed the climate control. Also, this thing happened. You see now, immobilizer is finished. Please check that the engine start. Let me see. The engine start. This light is supposed to go off now. Okay, the engine is start. Everything good. You see, everything is done. Successfully complete. I'm going to finish it. Finish the job. What I did is, we're gonna wait a little bit till this one finish. What I did is, I just go inside there and reprogram everything. The body control module, the security, the BCM, the engine computer. I, I just reset, reprogram everything. So if this car is running and fine, do not change parts. See this customer here, have the body control module used, have the fuse box, have another uh, fuel pump control module, this one. Do not try to put things that not belong to this car, especially the one, the cluster, the radio, the climate control. If the VIN number is not the same, it will flag the... It will flag the... It will flag the security on this car. I have to come and reprogram it again. Door lock, unlock work. This is a quick hint, a quick information, please. Some of them, even the used computer will not work. So try just to put a brand new. This, this one here, they change it. And uh, the problem was that, you see, we, have, we still have a check engine light. Let me show you how we're gonna diagnose this car. I'm gonna go out of this now. It doesn't wanna go out. He said, please wait, it look like it's freeze. Let me go check this one. This one is, is freeze. But let me show you something now here. I'm gonna drop this one down. This is a GDS. How to use GDS is very simple. The GDS is renewable platform every month, one time. I want to diagnose and see what code we have. This is a GDS for GM and SAP. Just click on next. This is the new platform for GMC and Chevy. You see, Equinox 2015. Here is the VIN number. I will say enter. Say yes. Now you're gonna go here and choose what you wanna check. I wanna check the engine control module diagnosis. No, that one is good. So you're gonna choose all this, the fuel pump control module. I want to see what code I have. Click next. Click next. Click next. You see ignition on a start switch circuit low voltage. P2534 fuel pump control module. There is a problem with the electricity. Ignition is no good. That's why. Okay. So this is the code for it. If we go back to the engine, 
I want to check the engine too. Engine got uh oh. I checked something else. I got a way to go back. Okay, I want to check the DTC. Check engine light is on. It's a fuel pump control module request. The T069 Echo and also immobilizer not programmed, which is not true. Pass and fail. Okay, it's already programmed. I'm gonna clear the code. Add all. Done. Okay. Yes. You see now everything is good, but I have one code here: fuel pump and crankshaft vibration not there. The crankshaft vibration not there. That's a different story. To relearn the crankshaft vibration is very P0315. What are you gonna do? Go back. Go back here. Control function. Supposed to be somewhere here. If you don't get it here. We're gonna go back. This is a new GMC configuration function. Learn function, reset function. Let me see learn. Crankshaft variation not learn. Car must be hot. AC must be off. Same thing, condition not meet. Maybe the temperature is not okay. So you have to let the temperature go, go, you know, like there is a way. I did it before, then you're gonna push the brake and push the, you see the temperature is not yet. So thank you for watching Mobile Electronic. This is, with this one here, it's the same crankshaft vibration like you're doing it with other. Let me, let me warm the car and see if I can do the crankshaft failure in this car. Shift transmission in park, set the parking brake. Okay, I'm gonna set the parking brake. Okay. Car ignition on, just done. Ignition is on. <coughs> temperature. Temperature also must be okay. AC is off, it's true. Condition not met. Why maybe the temperature the 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 temperature Engine speed is zero. Maybe the temperature. Yeah, the engine temperature. Okay. Test pass. He said not met, but I accelerated and it was successful. Now let me go back to see if that code go away. Diagnosis. Display code, crankshaft, relearn. I'm gonna delete the codes. Clear the code, ignition must be, engine must not be run. All of it. I believe the crankshaft relearn will go away now. Add all. Okay. Okay. 
You see now I have only the fuel pump module coat. I don't have any other coat. So the crankshaft one wireless. Thank you for watching Mobile Electronic. Please subscribe and share and see you in another video.